ship's about to get real. We have got all the new facts that have just come out about the Symphony of the Seas, and we're going to tell you them right now. Okay guys, so this episode we're going to talk about the upcoming Symphony of the Seas, which will be sailing for the first time next year. We're so excited. extra excited as well, because we get to sail on her next November on the transatlantic to Miami. We literally can't wait. We cannot indeed. So first up are the new family suites. These are going to be over two levels and they're even going to include a 3D cinema room and a slide from one floor to the other. That is insane. How amazing is that? It's also going to have a Lego wall, an air hockey table and a whirlpool on the balcony. Oh my god, it sounds like heaven. So before people of adults could travel in luxury and now kids can travel in luxury hey, as well. I don't think you need to be a kid to have one of these rooms. They sound bloody brilliant. It sounds amazing. Sorry for saying bloody as well. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real swear word, but hey. We'll see. We'll see if we get flagged. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Thanks guys. One of the big announcements that Royal Caribbean made was about the dining that's going to be on board and they're going to have some exclusive restaurants or brand new restaurants to the fleet. The first one is Hooked which is going to be in the Solarium and is going to have extensive sea view so it's going to be a great place just to look out to the sea while you're eating some seafood. Uh, it's going to be New England style seafood which just sounds incredible. And the next one is going to be the El Loco Frex. Fresh. <laughs> the, the, the El Loco Fresh. Me I can't say it. Next up is the El Loco Fresh Mexican Restaurant. It's going to be an open air Mexican restaurant serving such things as tacos, yum. burritos, yum. all of the Mexican yummy foods. So another thing that's going to be getting a little bit of an overhaul is the boardwalk, which is going to be completely reimagined, and it's going to have two new dining venues on board. Yeah, the new, the first one is the Playmakers Sports and Arcade Bar, which is going to th feature thirty big television screens. So you're never going to miss a game no, on that one. you can watch sports from all around the world in there and it sounds really cool. It's also going to be serving things like burgers, nachos, as wings. well as, and wings, yeah, yeah, as well as craft beers on tap. And then the second venue is going to be the sh... Oh, I forgot the name of it. And also there's going to be a sugar, beach, sweet and ice cream bar. Now this sounds like something you'd love, Ben, because you love your sweets. That's crazy. <laughs> as well as an ice cream bar and a sweet bar, it's also going to have activities for aspirational bakers. And it's going to be fun for all the family. Ooh, that sounds so much fun. So aspirational baker activities, I'm thinking maybe ice cream making, yeah, chocolate making. Yeah, it's going to be making. classes, isn't it? So like brownie making. But it says for the family, things. so I think it's going to be like really targeted to like kids. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. So it's going to be all the chocolatey kind of things and sweet and yummy treats. It sounds, it sounds like something I want to do, to be it honest. Really not just, <laughs> not just it, kids. Yeah. Yeah, it's for everyone. So they're just some of the new dining options that are going to be coming into the symphony. And there's oh, <laughs> symphony, <laughs> sympathy. Oh no. <laughs> So they're just some of the new dining options. Um, and then as well as that, there's going to be the other Royal Caribbean favourites, such as like Jamie's Italian, Wonderland, and... 1900 Fair. Night, yes, and all them other great restaurants that you can already find on Royal Caribbean ships. Next up is the entertainment. And let me just tell you how, I, how excited I was when I found this out. <laughs> on this ship, they're going to be bringing back Hairspray, which is like the most brilliant musical ever. And we, I've never actually seen it. I've, I've never watched seen it, it on yeah. YouTube, on YouTube videos, and obviously I've seen the film, which is brilliant, and I love the music. But yeah, so they're going to bring this amazing Broadway spectacular as never seen before onto the ship. We literally can't wait. No, we can't. And on top of that, there's going to be a brand new original production called Flight, which will be about the history of air travel. Now, that sounds pretty interesting. And actually, we saw a Royal Caribbean original production on our, our last cruise with them, and they're really good. So yeah. I am really looking forward to this yeah, to see what they're going to come up with. Oh my god, there's a fly. It's like flying right in front of us. It's like, I want to get my own YouTube channel. So also in the Aqua Theatre, they're going to be debuting a new show called he Rio or Hi Rio? Hey Rio. Hi Rio. Hi. Hi Rio or Hi Rio. Hi Rio? I'm Whatever sure. it is, I'm pretty sure but it's yeah, going to be awesome. Yeah, it sounds amazing. So it's going to be a water spectacular with all of the acrobatics and all sorts hanging from everywhere on the ship. Yeah. So that should be quite cool. Yeah. yeah, and then down in Studio B, which is the ice skating arena, theatre, um, there's going to be a new production, a new original production called 1977, which may appeal to us as it is set in England on the eve of the Queen's Silver Jubilee, where there's a heist on the Queen's jewels. 
and we have to figure it out. Crane's jewels, that sounds like so much fun to be fair. And obviously you can use this area for ice skating as well. Crown jewels. Crown jewels. That's it. <laughs> I was trying to Crown. think of what the name the was. The Queen's jewels. <laughs> or the Queen's personal jewels. Yeah, but yeah, you know what we mean. They're going to be transforming the Studio B into a laser tag arena. <gasps> Oh, I heard about that, and it's going to be one of the biggest ones ever, isn't it? Yes, it How is. How amazing is that? I love Laser Quasar and Laser Quest or whatever it's called around the world. Yeah. But basically, it's where you go around shooting each other on like a, an assault course, and you have these lasers where you've got to hit the top. It's so much fun. It's going to be super high tech from what we hear as well. Yeah, and there's also going to be another escape room, isn't there, as well on board? Yeah, with a brand cool. new game. Sounds That's cool. going to be never not on any of the other ships. And it's going to be called Puzzle Break. Yep, and it's going Sounds to be fun. set on a submarine. Ooh. God, do you think we did our research on this one? No way. <laughs> but yeah, Puzzle Break, it sounds like fun, doesn't it? I love escape oh, we rooms. We did an escape room for the first time in Cambridge, what, about two or three months ago for my brother's birthday? It was the funniest oh thing God. ever. Literally hysterical, wasn't Slightly it? Slightly terrifying as well. Oh no, it was my birthday! Oh yeah, it was yeah, your it was birthday! Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so it was back in August, yeah, and we did an escape room. It was so much fun. We've not had that much for laugh. And we cracked the puzzle with about three seconds to go. We like, did, yeah. No lag, I think we had like 20 seconds to go. We needed a few little nudges along the way. It was hard though. It was so hard. So obviously you're going to have all of the Royal Caribbean favourites on board as well. Things like the Abyss Slide, like you can see on the yep. Harmony of the Seas. Which is the world's largest dry slide. dry slide, which is insane. It's crazy, and it is literally, what, 10 storeys high drop. We yeah. don't know if they're going to change anything on the, on the symphony yet. And you've got things like the trio of the water slides, which is mm -hmm. called the Perfect Storm, which you can also find on the other Oasis class ships. And you're also going to have the Bionic Bar, which is really fun, and you're going to find on you can find us again on other ships. But I think they might put a twist to this, maybe a different setting. Mm -hmm. And also they're going to have two floor riders as Never well, back, yeah. which we can't wait to try because. We didn't get to try them last time because it was a little bit chilly. A little bit chilly, yeah. We did a, a European cruise in April, so it was a little bit oh. rainy. <laughs> That's why the solarium came in handy. Exactly, and we love the solarium, and it's going to have a solarium on board, so I'm so excited. So a couple of facts about the Symphony. 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 <laughs> it's the phony of the seas. That's a, that's a knockoff version. Knock -off version. <laughs> so a few facts about the Symphony of the Seas. It's going to be launched in April 2018 and it's the 25th ship in the fleet for Royal Caribbean. Oh, get you with your facts and facts. figures. Facts, facts, facts. It's also going to be starting the summer season in the Mediterranean and then going to be heading from Barcelona to Miami with two fabulous people on board. Yeah, and hopefully the new ship port in Miami, the new port is going to be the new terminal. Yeah, them. the new That's terminal. What it's been built for, isn't it? Yeah, it looks amazing. They're building a dedicated terminal for Royal Caribbean, and it's going to be year-round in Miami, uh, serving Eastern and Western Caribbean cruises. Sounds like fun. It sounds pretty banging. Banging. Mm, banging. That's a really odd phrase to use. It's, it's fetch. <laughs> Fetch. Sorry, we literally just watched Mean Girls the other day. It's so fetch. It's fetch. Snaps to Royal Caribbean. So that's it for Symphony of the Seas. That's all the information we have at the moment. I'm sure new information will come out, and as soon as it does, we'll make another video. And we will let you know. We're literally so excited to go onto the ship. Let us know about any features you're looking forward to about this ship or any other Oasis class ship that you've been on. Yep, just let us know in the comments section below or you can find us on all the usual social media channels where we're at Honest Cruising on all of them. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, folks, happy, happy cruising. cruising. Oh, it's nice to be back. I do like this new studio. I like this new studio. Do you know what I'm missing though? You keep saying studio, it's literally a painting with a few pictures. <laughs> I'll show you like a wide shot, it ain't anything special, peeps. But actually it looks quite cool. It does look quite cool. I painted it yesterday. It just means that we skills. And it means that we don't have to turn the kitchen upside down just to It just makes it easier for us because every time we need to film, we need to like literally rip the whole kitchen apart then like, And hopefully fancy. it means that we can do more videos as well. Exactly. Because we can just pop upstairs and do a video, so it's nice to be back. I'm just missing my bloody cocktail. You've just said, I've bloody, just said again. bloody again like four times, sorry. I had a tea I have a tea, but I decided not to use it because it says Norwegian. It doesn't matter, we love Norwegian as well. I know, but I didn't want to like give mixed messages. No. I'm you know, not. like a bit of more Caribbean video. I love all the cruise lines. Like, why not? Well, if I had a mug. For, what's nice about this? If I had a mug for every cruise line, I could There's use that. Page. I could use that mug depending on what we're talking about. Exactly. That would be so cool. A mug for two mugs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>